Canal, 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 canal. These guys are at war, and they're all in a sewer for most of the movie. I don't know. For once, I actually came up with something less original. Than... Anyway, hello there. Nate Jackson, Criterion Collection Viewer Guy here. Number two. Number two in the... Wait, wait, wait. Andre Vida. Andre, Wa Andre Vida. Andre Vida. Oh, nailed it. Andre Vida. Okay. Andre Vida, three war films, the war trilogy, number th two, uh, Andre Vida's Canal. 1957, 96 minutes, Polish, and just like I predicted, this one's pretty awesome. I dug it, and, uh, oh god, this is, which leads me to wonder how bad Ashes and Diamonds is gonna be. Um, and, or, but although maybe, maybe Vida is the director that's going to prove me wrong. Maybe. Just maybe. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> Canal. Um, again, just like, at, just like Generation, not much to say. Um, uh, although, I mean, even though I like this one more than the generation, uh, I still don't have much to say most because I don't want to just, you know, spoil the movie for you guys. This one in particular. Um, it's basically a movie about the uh, Warsaw Uprising of 1944, and it has these, you know, these people trying to get out, and, um, and they are trying to escape from the Nazis, and... They are just, you know, this ragtag team is a lieutenant, second lieutenant, um, this composer guy, and then this uh, messenger girl, and just they've all the kind of some of them are in love with each other, and and uh, so they, yeah, they try to sneak past these tanks, and some of them get injured, but they heal, and um, the majority of the movie, um, or the like, the last three fifths of the movie is set in. Um, in about in the sewers and, and the majority of it is just them trying to navigate the sewers and basically get out um, there's gas involved there are booby traps all around and uh, some of the characters go mad after a while and it's just it's just a fantastic watch um, and it's funny because I'm not really you know as you know from like my reviews for like Royal Tenenbaums and Shortcuts and Slacker. I don't really care for ensemble movies where you have to remember a whole bunch of characters. But this is one where it's like, you know, everybody just, I don't know, it's just the suspense of it all. Um, maybe it's because it's not a comedy or anything like that. Or it's just a more suspenseful drama. And, um, and you get all these characters and they all have different outcomes. Everybody's got a little bit of a different outcome in the end. Um, and yeah, it's just a fantastic watch. Um, I, I like just the the suspense of it all and just a lot of scenes where I just, I just jumped, you know, cause it was just like, Oh crap. You know, it's like, you don't know what you're going to see, you know? And Vida, if that was Vida's intention, then I give, give my props to him, you know, dude, dude can make a little movie, you know? So anyway, um, I'll leave it at that. Not much else to say. Um, I'm going to give this one, uh, an A minus. I'll give it, a, uh, no, I'll give it an A. It was good. Um, this is one that I, I really want to get, Although I doubt that they sell it outside of the, uh, I doubt that they sell this one outside of the, the three war films box set. So I'm stuck buying all three of these on DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know if they are on Blu-ray. Now I'm curious. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, but fantastic film. Um, and if I can find it separately, then I will get it. Um, although maybe I'll get the whole thing because it's movies like this that, uh, like even with something like you know a generation, I uh, I highly expect that you know on upon further you know a further review a further rewatch of it, uh, I'm sure that I'll get more of it. All right, let's see here. I'm looking at the Criterion site right now, and I'm sure you guys know more than I do. Oh, it's only on DVD. Oh God, sixty three dollars. Jesus Christ. All right, well at least it's still in print. So anyway. Uh, supplements. Andre, Andre, Andre Vida on Canal. It's 27, 27 minute interview where he talks with uh, uh, assistant, Durant, uh, assistant director Janusz Morgenstern and film critic Jerzy Palzuski, and uh, just just talks about you know just working on the film and and I guess there was a huge huge debate about the lighting and um, originally when they tried to make the film. Um, they went into the sewers, and because there wasn't a lot of natural light, it was impossible to film. And they didn't want to use artificial light in it, so they just canceled the whole thing. And so it's just it's interesting to note that. It's interesting to note that um, the dedication to 
realism or whatever you whatever you may call it. <clears throat> and then the only other supplement is uh, an interview that uh, Vi Vida did with Jan Novak Zezioransky. Zizioran um, he was one of the um, he was someone involved. He was a someone who was involved with the Warsaw Uprising. It's basically just him talking for like 25 minutes straight, 26 minutes straight. Um, obviously, there's probably a lot of editing, but you hear, you just hear, see Vida ask him, how do you feel about the Warsaw Uprising? And then you just see him talking and they intersplice clips from Vida, I mean, from Canal in it. And then, you know, he thanks him at the end. And apparently this was, I guess, and there's a little note, says that this was his last, um, the last film or interview he did because he died a few months after um, Vida met him for this, uh, for the, interview and then just like a, a generation there photos stills and all that good stuff so canal fantastic film i'm gonna get this one if i can i mean if i have to buy the whole set then i'll just go and do it but if i can get it separately who this would be one that uh criterion should should reissue separate from its box set because if they can even do it for orpheus or um well if they can do it for orpheus they can do it for canal so Anyway, so that's it for that now. Um, there is a slight chance that you are going to see me yet again tonight, today for Ashes and Diamonds. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just, I mean, if I had if I had started, went ahead and just started Canal right after, right after I did um, A Generation that I would have had, I would have been, I probably would have been doing Ashes and Diamonds by this point. But, um, but yeah, no, I just decided to take a break. Um, cause I knew I wanted to do canal today. I was trying, I wanted to really do canal today. Um, but yeah, no, so I'm thinking that I'm thinking there's a chance we might get to this one today, um, tonight in just a few minutes or probably after that, especially cause I want to, I'm just curious if this is the weak, the weakest of the bunch and I want to know how, just know how exactly how weak it is. Um, from the, from the back and from the description, I can tell that it might, how it might be the weakest, but you know, who knows? I'm not sure. I mean, <clears throat> we'll only, well, we can only guess. Um, but like I said, history has spoken. The film trilogy by Bergman. Um, the stage and spectacle John Renoir box set. Um, I mean, any other trilogy. The the BRN, the BRD trilogy, the uh, Fassbender trilogy. I mean, so many trilogies of hell that we've seen just this season. I mean, all of them. The middle one has been great. And then the second, the first one wasn't so great. And then the last one was complete, more or less crap, you know. And so it just kind of saddens me that we may be playing into this, you know, that this might happen. And I don't know, maybe that's just my brain playing tricks on me. I don't know. But anyway, so we're probably going to, we're going to, I'm going to see if I can't try to do Ashes and Diamonds in a few minutes. Um, if not, we'll do it tomorrow. And then um, <clears throat> if we don't, if we get to this, to next and then tomorrow, it's finally time. It's finally time to do this. And I'm really looking forward to this because I want Saturday. I'm thinking this ha needs to happen on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, <clears throat> morals. Don't be a Nazi. Of course. And uh, don't booby trap sewers. And, uh, shh. Mm, yeah, there you, are, there you are. So, anyway, that's it for me, and we will hopefully see you in a little while for Ashes and Diamonds, either a little while or tomorrow. And until then, goodbye. <laughs>